Hey guys, how's it going? So the Apple event just concluded and some of those highlights of the event are the AirPods, it's Apple's wireless headphones. We've also got the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus, and the Apple Watch Series 2. So. Let's just get right into the entire event. To start this whole event off, <laughs> I was freaking out. I was super excited. I decided to do a live stream of this event, so if you wanna watch the full live stream, you can. It's two hours of me probably just getting real rowdy. So the whole live stream starts off with Tim Cook and James Gordon in a car doing the whole carpool karaoke thing. James is driving him around San Francisco to take him to the Apple event. And then at some point, Pharrell hops in the car and it was just, it was strange and amazing and just just so absolutely perfect. And it was probably one of my favorite intros to an Apple event, I think ever. So that whole stunt was because Cook says the new episodes of Carpool Karaoke will debut on Apple Music early next year. So that's kind of cool. But let's talk about why we're all actually here. We're here for the new iPhone 7. So here it is. Pre-orders start on September 9th and they're available on September 16th, so it's currently September 7th. So this week is gonna get crazy. So let's take a look more at the iPhone 7. Oh God, you look just real slick. So it was kind of interesting because they announced <laughs> two new colors, which made it seem like Apple invented the color black. I'm not sure how it was phrased, but it was kind of comical. But they have, which was originally rumored to be called piano black, but it's called jet black, and then they have sort of a matte black, which they're just calling black. One of the biggest things that was actually leaked on Twitter on Apple's own Twitter account because they bought sponsored posts. I think that's how it was happening. They had their posts pre-approved and ready to post, but if you actually went to Apple's Twitter account, they weren't they weren't there. So it was kind of strange. My God, I was tweeting up a storm. I was losing my freaking mind. One of the most exciting things before we get back into more of the iPhone 7 news is Miyamoto was on stage at the Apple event today and they announced a new game for iOS called Super Mario Run and it looks like Update, the Android, will be coming later. So it's kind of a side-scrolling game where Mario just runs and you basically just push the screen and he will jump. Pretty simple, but pretty awesome. So I look forward to that coming out pretty soon for iOS. They also didn't mention how much it was gonna cost, so it looks like it's gonna be a paid game. And an update here, Nintendo says we do intend to release the game on Android devices at some point in the future, so that should be pretty exciting. So here we go, there's a little demo. And now, back to our iPhone 7 updates. The new iPhone 7 is water resistant. Makes a splash, takes a splash. New black and jet black finishes, the new home button, an entirely new camera enters the picture. 12 megapixels optical image stabilization, seven megapixel FaceTime HD camera, quad LED true tone flash, four smart LEDs flash 50% brighter than the 6S. The flash adjusts according to the color temperature of the environment resulting in sharper, more brightly lit photos. So this is what we've really been looking for. This is the iPhone 7 Plus camera, two cameras that shoot as one. So the iPhone 7 doesn't have just one new camera system, it has two. It's the same 12 megapixel wide angle camera that's on the iPhone 7, but it also has a telephoto camera so you can get even closer. And there's a super cool depth of field effect that they're calling it, which if you guys have seen any of my previous videos where I talk about the Intel RealSense, I feel like it's that sort of technology where it can sense the depth of field. So if I'm closer, you're able to pull the focus to make me more in focus and your background not in focus. So they said that that's a software feature that will be coming soon, so we're not sure when, so portrait shots will look better than ever. So say hello to the world's best photo op. Zoom into the future. Thanks to the dual camera, you can get super sharp close-up shots and videos. They didn't talk much about video, actually. They talked mostly about photos. Now that I'm thinking about it, there was really no mention of video at all. I think I need to tweet about it. The brightest, most colorful iPhone display yet, 25% brighter, the most powerful chip ever in a smartphone. It's 2x faster than the iPhone 6. It's the longest battery life ever in an iPhone. So that's good. iPhone now in stereo. It has two speakers on the top and the bottom. Ear pods with lightning connector. If you guys haven't heard, there is no 
headphone jack on the new iPhone and they made a huge deal about this basically saying that it takes courage to do such a thing and to remove such an old technology which I agree and the lightning connector is a much higher quality cable anyway so I think it will work out but I need to get a set of lightning cable headphones but the ear pods are lightning connectors and also the AirPods, which are the wireless ones will also work with not only your iPhone but it'll work with your MacBook and your um, I'm, I'm the Mac Pro, so hopefully it'll work with that as well. So here's the earpods with a lightning connector. They will have a lightning cable adapter, so you'll be able to use a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and just plug it into the lightning adapter. So you're set, you don't have to worry. Next up, we've got the AirPods. They're available in late October, so let's learn more about the AirPods. These are gonna be really, really interesting, and this is the first time that I'm getting a really good look at it. They said that the AirPods themselves, so those little guys, will last five hours, but the little wireless charging pack that you keep them in, that's not just a case. That will charge them for up to 24 hours, is what I believe I read. Maybe let's read some more to get the official, official news. Wireless headphones finally untangled. You can tap into Siri, so this is kind of cool. So you'll double tap and be able to access Siri and talk to her and get um, any information. Like, hey, call my brother Brian. <laughs> Turn up the volume, how do I get to the zoo? Granted, Siri sometimes doesn't really understand anything that I'm saying, so that should be interesting. So these headphones have an Apple W1 chip, so it produces extremely efficient wireless for better connection and improved sound. Five hours is not a lot of time, if you think about it. That's one flight to New York. If I'm going to Australia or somewhere far away, these aren't gonna last. So it knows when you're talking. A voice accelerometer recognizes when you're speaking and works with a pair of beam forming microphones to filter out external noise. It knows when you're listening. Optical sensors and motion accelerometers, power of 24 hour battery life. So these little guys will charge it. The coolest little demo that I saw, I don't think they actually showed the demo, but they did tell you how to use it. You just open it up, place it near your iPhone. They didn't announce wireless charging either, did they? I'm just having flashbacks of the live stream and realizing that there's a lot of stuff that they didn't mention. Need a quick charge? Just 15 minutes of the case gives you three hours of listening time. So that's pretty cool. Clearly superior sound. Here's the problem with these AirPods. The AirPods don't stay in my ear. So I'm having a little bit of a concern that these aren't gonna stay in my ear either. Automatic setup, seamless switching. I was a little skeptical at first. I'm still a little skeptical. But I don't know. So here's our current models that we currently have. We have the iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 7, iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 6S, and iPhone SE. So each model will be available in 32, 128, and 256, although the Jet Black, again, won't be available in 32. It's pretty much similar size to the previous models. So let's get into the prices, which is what I'm sure a lot of you guys wanna know. The iPhone 7, 32, 41 a month, starting, or pay, 649 and the iPhone 7 Plus, let's see how much the most expensive one is gonna cost us. Oh God, that's, ex that's expensive. And it's only 849 only. It's $100 less for the iPhone 7. So that's a quick overview of the new iPhone 7. So now let's chat about the Apple Watch. They announced that it's now called the Apple Watch Series 2 and the previous version is gonna be called Series 1. There's also the Apple Watch Nike Edition which will be released later this year. They talked a lot about Watch OS 3 but the biggest announcement was the ceramic version. So this is really freaking pretty. Now stunning in ceramic. God, it looks really nice. Pre-order September 9th, available September 16th as well. Here's the Nike version. Exclusive Nike watch faces, Nike Run Club and app. I used to use Nike Running a lot when I ran, which was a long time ago. I had one of the GPS watches and it was the hardest thing to ever get connected, but they did assure us that it was gonna be super easy and fast and just work like that, which I'm I'm hoping that's the case because some of these GPS watches that I've tried in the past didn't work very well. 
So one of the biggest things about Series 2 is it has the built-in GPS, which the first version did not, and it was kind of frustrating, I think, for a lot of people because if you wanted to get directions or do things, you had to have your phone connected because it used the phone GPS. But now, this will have its own GPS, which is incredible. It's also water-resistant up to 50 meters, and they showed a really cool demo of how... Uh, they did the testing to make sure that it is insured up to 50 meters. This one, I've talked about it before, this one went through a full cycle in the wash and it still worked. So, it's been wash machine approved. But one of the biggest news and the thing that it didn't feature on Apple's website is Pokemon Go is coming to the Apple Watch. So Pokemon Go will soon be available on the Apple Watch. They announced today at the Apple event. The watch app will display how far the player needs to walk to hatch an egg, the required experience points to reach the next level, and additional info about the player's fitness. So you can start sort of a workout and it'll be able to calculate how far you've walked. This is incredible. I'm so excited about it. I still play Pokemon Go and I don't care what any of you say. Pokestop. So this kind of all makes sense now why the Pokemon Go Plus wearable was delayed. Probably because Apple was like, yo, if you delay that, we'll hook you up and you guys can have an app on the Apple Watch. And we'll feature you during the keynote. So it all makes sense. Well, that was just a quick little overview of most of the announcements that happened today at the Apple event featuring the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus, the Apple Watch Series 2, Nintendo bringing out a new game for iOS coming very, very soon. I look forward to hearing all of your feedback in the comments so we can have a discussion about what we saw, what we expected, what we didn't actually get that we were hoping that we would get, like wireless charging. Also some more information about video, which kind of leads me to believe that the video camera doesn't have much of an upgrade, because if it did, they surely would have talked about it. So there's probably nothing new in the video department with most of the iPhones. Maybe there is, maybe I missed it, but either way, that's that, and I will see you guys in my next video. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe so you guys can see new videos. If you like this video, hit like. I also did an entire live stream of the whole live stream, so if you wanna watch that, I'll put a link in the description. It's long, potentially could be boring, but I'm not really sure. But I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Welcome to my Apple event live stream. We're here, we're live streaming, we're live, and over here, I have a bunch of tweets. So these are all set up to curate all of the tweets that you guys send me during the event. And be sure to use the